your kind. Sunny Sands because it's sunny and it's sandy and it's right by the sea. We love playing on the beach and we love staying at the mill on the marsh too. Today Uncle CJ and Auntie Jules had gone out with Elsie so I was playing with Grandpa. Ah, <laughs> Three golden oh. galaxies for me. We were playing the Captain Dumbletwit board game but we weren't quite alone. <laughs> Great Aunt Loretta, that's Grandpa's sister, was doing some cleaning. Do you have to, Loretta? It's all right for you sitting here on your big backside all day. We've got last minute guests coming, remember? Oh, yes, it's Grandfather and his grandson, I believe. Yes. And just then, the doorbell went. Oh, ma'am. Oh. oh, you hide the muck sucker, Josh. Oh, I wish CJ and Jules hadn't gone out. Loretta looking after our guests is just asking for trouble. Great Aunt Loretta showed the new guests in. Granddad Godfrey and grandson Matty. Welcome to Mill on the Marsh. How do you do? <laughs> what a delightful place. <laughs> uh, this is Grandpa. But he has lots of little lie-downs, so he shouldn't bother you too much. Hi, I'm Josh. Hi. Just then, Matty saw the double twit game. You like Captain Dumbletwit? Oh, yes, we're great fans. So are we. It's the best cartoon out there. We even dress up and act out Captain Dumbletwit stories. Oh, that's what they do. Two peas in a pod, you are. I've got a Captain Dumbletwit costume. Fantastic! I've got a Diabolical Dave costume. <laughs> it's in a suitcase. I'll show you. I'll tell you what. I'll go and put on my Captain Dumbletwit costume and then we can act out a story together. The <gasps> yes. children will love it. And so will we. I'll get my costume out now. My grandpa went to get changed and Matty's grandpa went to unlock his case. No, don't do it yet. Wait a minute. I haven't finished your welcome. <laughs> Allow me to present your complimentary welcome drink. I prepared it myself, especially earlier. <laughs> Green Gloop. Yum. Green Gloop is spinach and sprout shake, and it tastes disgusting. <laughs> Matty didn't like the smell of it at all. Drink up. I'll hang up your coat. Oh, well, I never. You really are like two peas in a pod. Grandpa's got a cap just like this. Oh. I'll show you. Back up, darling. There we are. Look. <laughs> Identical. <laughs> you can't tell them apart. This was a disaster. I have to do something. Or there was going to be a mix-up at the mill. Oh, please stop it. Give it to me. Great Aunt Loretta wouldn't give me Grandpa's cap. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Great Aunt Loretta. Then Grandpa came back. What are you doing, oh, Loretta? Please give stop me back it. Give my it cap. Catch it. Dumble trick to the rescue, eh? Catch me. <laughs> Great Aunt Loretta knocked over the case and the key fell out of the padlock. The key's fallen out of the padlock. The key's fallen out of the padlock? What? Where? Then Ooh. Great Aunt Loretta kicked the key into the mouse hole. She kicked the key into the mouse hole. Kicked the key into the mouse hole? Oh no! Now I can't unlock our case. We've got our holiday clothes in it. Well, stuff for the beach. Not to mention my diabolical Dave costume. This is all your fault, Grandpa. I 
making such a fuss about your stupid cap. I was only having a bit of fun here, take it. Grandpa was cross, and so was Grandad Godfrey. Well, aren't you going to try to get it out? No point. We can't get it out from there. It's all dark and dusty. And there's a ginormous mouse in there. Ugh. I hate mice, me. But, but, but I've got to get into my case. Uh, we haven't got any other clothes. Our toothbrushes are in there. No, I'll sort it. Come on, I'll show you up to your rooms. <laughs> no, on second thoughts, I think I'll put you downstairs. Oh. I hadn't realised you were so old. <laughs> I knew she'd cause trouble. Never mind, I can still get the key back. The towel? By being small. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa. But this time, Grandpa didn't shrink. You've got the wrong cap. What? Grandad Godfrey has got a cap exactly like yours. Great Aunt Loretta swapped them over. Well, we better swap them back again and fast. Don't worry, I'll go. So I ran to Grandad Godfrey's bedroom. <laughs> where Great Aunt Loretta was trying to unlock the case with a knitting needle. Please, leave it to me. No, 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 I can manage. <laughs> no, if this doesn't work, I'll break it open with a hammer. <laughs> I knocked on the door. And Great Aunt Loretta said... Oh, go away, Josh, we're busy. But it's about the cap. Be off with you and stop bothering the guests. <laughs> I rushed back to Grandpa. Any luck? Sorry, Great Aunt Loretta wouldn't even let me in the room. We've got to do something. Whatever happens, Godfrey mustn't put on my shrinking cap. Good riddance to bad rubbish. What's happened? Granddad Godfrey and his grandson. They're so fed up about the case that they're moving to another hotel and it's all your fault. But oh. they can't leave. We've made friends and Godfrey's got my cap. Will you stop going on about your wretched cap? You never even wear it. Run after them, Josh. Don't let them leave. But they were already on their way. I was so looking forward to playing Captain Dumble Twit with Grandpa, too. It's such a pity. Stop, stop. Please don't go. Look, it's a lovely place, but I'm afraid we don't want to stay. No! I'm sorry, but I've made up my mind. Not the shrimp, Cap. What's the matter? The cap is the wrong one. Oh, sorry, didn't notice. Here. I had it at last. Please don't go to another hotel. I'll get the key for you. Yeah, but how? It's right under the floorboards. And as a ginormous mouse. He's very friendly. He might even help us. Just stay right there. I'll be back in a few minutes. Shrinking cap, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. You know what happens when Grandpa shrinks? He runs about so fast, he's impossible to catch. Grandpa! He can get into things, and he can get under things. He loves driving Jason's toy car, and the Sunny Sands train, and Gordon the seagull. Sometimes he hovers about in my helicopter. He's even been known to fly the Captain Dumbtwit spaceship. But he didn't use any of those things today because he was going under the floorboards. Captain Dumbtwit to the rescue! <laughs> so Grandpa went to look for the suitcase key. Ah, there it is. But someone wasn't going to let him have it. Oh, no. It was the mouse of the mill. Grandpa was taking ages. I was starting to worry about him. The mouse of the mill was chasing Grandpa up and down and round about. Grandad Godfrey and Matty came in. Well, what's going on here? Have you found that key yet? Nearly. And then Grandpa decided ah. to chase the mouse up and down and round about. Until at last it ran off. Oh, I'm getting a bit old for all this. <sighs> Where's your grandpa? Gone for a little lie down, I expect. I could do it with one myself. Aha! Did you hear that, Grandad? It must be the ginormous mouse. Just then, the ginormous mouse threw the key out of the hole. 
The key! That's an amazing mouse you've got there. Amazing! Great! If Grandpa came out of the hole, his secret would be out. I had to get our guests to leave the room. You're all going to stay, aren't you? I'd really like it, and I know Grandpa would too. So would we, wouldn't we, Matty? Brilliant! Why don't you start unpacking? In your bedroom. Like, right now. right up. <laughs> After you. So, Grandad, Godfrey and Matty went back to their rooms to unpack. You can come out, Grandpa. It's safe. Come off, quick. Mission accomplished. I returned the key and our guests decided to stay. Teamwork, I call it. It's totally teamwork. teamwork. <laughs> You're up now. That's good. Your ginormous mouse is amazing. He rescued the suitcase key. Did he? Yes, he's very well trained. <clears throat> and then Grandad Godfrey came in. <laughs> there you are, Captain Dumbledore. Oh, no, not Diabolical Dave. <laughs> Great costume. Yes, I do. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, thank you for unbuttling the caps. It's uh, just an ordinary old thing, but it's very precious to me. Same here. I'm so glad you decided to stay. Well, I couldn't miss out on a chance to act out a Captain Dumbletwit story. <laughs> Diabolical Dave invades the planet Wuffeltoff with his alien poodles. <laughs> Captain Dumbletwit! Off to save the universe! Some people never grow up. Off to save the universe! I'm coming to get you, Diabolical Dave!